shall die. It is not for you to interfere. If Haley willed his death, he would be dead. He still lives. I'm going. Stick up, Harry. At high priest to Pele, I forbid it. Disobedience will bring disaster upon your people. Perhaps death to you. You threaten me with death, Korotu? I warn you that Pele's vengeance can be worse than death. My people are loyal to I do not fear you. Lu sama saya kampung. Ayo, 
Hayır, ne kadar? Did you run the risk of rescuing me? I run no risk. A lunch. Build of white men is after us. Make it through that hole. Turn her back. People are still loyal to Milani. Well, if it can be proven that Milani has been false to her people and betrayed them, would they still be loyal to her? Now, I have a plan that will accomplish all of that. can be done. Goodbye, Marla.
What does this mean, Poroto? There is to be a meeting in the sacred gorge of Pele tonight, Your Highness. Drums will summon your people from the neighboring islands. A meeting? For what purpose? Of importance to you, Princess Milani. You will be there. Barung Batum, ayo! He's blaming all the ills and sufferings of his people on Princess Milani. He is saying that the volcano Pele shall decide that the Princess Milani be guilty of treason or not. Kanisa, Duma, Ratisa, Baka, Yuna. Rente! How? Milano. 
I think we've been killed. No. Let's go. Sub make a cycle band. I've got word for headquarters. Okay. I'm turning that Broderman deal over to you, Crosby. Check with the London office. I want results. Yes, sir. I have a report here from Geneva. Just a minute. It's Drinker calling from Clipper Island. Put him on. Yes, sir. Make your report, Drinker. Clipper Island base. Drinker talking. That government agent sent over here by the dirigible company has been washed up. We are in complete control of the natives. Then see that you remain in control and send all available men to San Francisco headquarters. Very well, sir. This is Mr. Ellsworth. Have you contacted our operator on Clipper Island? We haven't been able to yet, sir. We're calling regularly as you ordered. Well, keep trying. If you make contact, call me at once. I hope nothing has happened to Mala. I'm depending on him to clear up this mystery. Don't sing it tougher. Time's a wasting with that sort of music. I want heal, Billy. No taste for better music at all. Get away from that dial and let me get the music. Hey, you two. I'm ashamed of you playing around when you should be attending to work. Howdy, miss. Thank you. Marla. I've got to go to my people before Perotto does them some harm. I don't want you taking any risks. In a little while, I'll go with you to the village. How can I ever repay you for what you have done? You have rewarded me with your friendship, Malani. Bye, Mala. an expert to tell her my fit connected. All right, get going. I'm 
and tell my friend. still lives. Your control of the people is not certain unless it's there. She will not live to see another sunrise. When my people arrive, you'll be punished for keeping me here. When your people come, you'll be killed. Sir. Put him through. We have everything under control. We've captured Princess Milani, and Perotu has turned her people against her. She will be sacrificed tonight. Good. Milani must die. Then Marla will have no one to help him, and nothing can stop us.
away from here. Perot and his warriors are coming. Come on. to jump. Think you can make it? I don't know. I'll go first. <laughs> jump, Malani. I'll catch you. to jump. Think you can make it? I don't know. I'll go first.
Corrodo holds the ancient insignia of the Comatoan ruler. If he should wear it, my power will be lost. I'll get it for you. You'll be killed. He says he will wait until tomorrow and hold a royal coronation in the village. Let's go. You. What happened? Perotto stole Malali's royal headdress. There can be only one ruler of the tribe. If Perotto wears a coronet, he will be king, and I will be an outcast hunted by my people. Well, he ain't gonna wear it. Me and Mal will see to that. Perotto will not be crowned at tomorrow's ceremony. You'd better remain hidden. I'll go to the burial cave of the Komatoan king, the cave of the wind. It is taboo ground, and I will be safe there. Take Rex and Buck with you. They will be your companions and guards. I'll take Buck. The horse would not be able to cross the swampland. Send Buck if you need me. I will, Mala. Take care of her, boy. Goodbye, princess. Cheerio. King of the May. Not if we can help it. We must get that feathered corn up before he has a chance to be crowned. How are you going to work it? Unless I miss my guess, Perota will be officially crowned on that platform beneath the tree. I'd like to crown him with a jolly boulder. My idea is to get up on that tree. At the right moment, Hank. You run Rex right through the village. Create a disturbance, I'll do the rest. Don't go on it, Mallard. Rex and me don't get along so good. But devil, my boy. You are not an equestrian. Don't slap me on the back. My name's not McDibble, and I don't like vegetables. I say, old bee, let me have a try at riding Rex. Do whatever you like, but be ready when I give the signal.
Jatana, Bene Peroto, Pasina Raya Purana, Bene Raya Peroto, Raka Nusi Bara Kantuna, Dia Sole Basandare, Jatana, Dia Sulanda, Ibo Sumura Ekila, Now, little rip chopper. Enough, but Rex has got tougher. They're headed for the swamp.
I'd saved the jolly old headdress. I thought I'd never catch up here. You wouldn't have if those alligators hadn't stopped for Otu. He's determined to get this crown. It's the last symbol of power Princess Milani has over her people. <coughs> Hello, old boy. Where's Princess Milani? We'd better get to Milani before Perota finds our trail. why the natives made it taboo. follow you here. It is the belief of the Comatorn that no one can enter this cave and live. Be safe here. Right you are. If anyone comes near, I'll frighten them clear off the aisle. Let's go, Buck. Get him back. 
good boy, Rack. Belongs to Princess Milani. She won't have any use for him anymore. Come on. Go to it, Rack. What's the matter with that dog? Come on, beat it, Joe Mutt. Get up. Take off your belt. Turn around. Get back to the others, Buck. Stop making a cycle band. I've got work for headquarters. Okay. I have a report here from Geneva. Just a minute. Hey, Drager calling from Clipper Island. What do you want? Yes, sir. Make your report, Drager. Clipper Island base. Drager talking. That government agent sent over here by the dirigible company has been washed up. We are in complete control of the natives. Then see that you remain in control. 
and send all available men to San Francisco headquarters. Very well, sir. Now I'll give you some orders. Now, I'll be. Get in that room and be quick about it. must have heard your talk with H.K. He'll use the radio, sure. Ah, oh, shut up! I've got to get us out of this. I've got it! This torch will do it! Turn on that tank! Clipper Island calling PDA. Clipper Island calling PDA. Mr. Ellsworth, Marla's calling from Clipper Island. He's on the radio now. Marla, I... Great guns, man. I, I'd almost given up hope. Clipper Island calling PDA. PDA calling Clipper Island. This is Ellsworth. Hello. Hello, Ellsworth? Marla speaking. Send the plane at once to the Clipper base. What's on the island, Mala? What have you found out? Plenty. I'll tell you when I get there. I'll contact the Marine Corps. Don't send Marines. They'll just drive the brains of the gang to cover. Get a plane over here. I'll clean out the higher-ups in San Francisco. Marines. They'll just drive the brains of the gang to cover. 
Get a plane over here. I'll clean out the higher ups in San Francisco. Glory, will you get that straight? Most assuredly, old chap. <coughs> you stay here where it's safe. I'll go out and see what it's all about. Buck boy, how are you? <laughs> but you mustn't cast dispersions on my character. I'm brave, you know. You ain't brave, Tuppy. You're so galding dumb you don't know the difference. Come now, McDingle. They ain't McDingle, and I repeat, you ain't brave, you're dumb. That's one thing about me, I don't scare easy. <laughs> You're not scared, are you? My word, it's Marla. I managed to radio PDA. Joe Davis, Chief of Pacific Intelligence, is on his way by seaplane. He ought to arrive here at any time now. You gonna leave us? Just for a while. I found out that the head of the spy ring is in San Francisco. He's connected in some mysterious way with PDA. Hank? I want you and Tupper to stay here and guard Milani. She must be protected at all times. Count on us, Mala. For all there, McCoubal and I will defend her. I'll see you all when I get back. I'm going now to meet the seaplane. Goodbye, Princess. Come on, Buck. <laughs> Go find Rex, old boy. Come on. Joe Davis? Mara, well, I'll be. Are we ready to take off? All set. Well, I want you to meet Jim Taylor and Ed Bourne. Hello. Hello there. How are you? I hope you thought to bring me some clothes. I'd hate to land in San Francisco in this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got just what you need. Take off immediately. You bet. Got a definite lineup on a ring of international crooks operating out of San Francisco. Should be able to round them up in short order.
We can break it. The plane has picked up a passenger and is leaving the island. Passenger? Who? Looked like Muller. Switch over to the sub make a cycle band. I've got word for headquarters. Okay. <laughs> Yes? The director calls in Pepper Island, sir. Put him through. H.K., Mollus suddenly left my plane from Clipper Island. He knows enough to wreck us. I've already been informed of this. The plane is bringing Mollus to San Francisco. We're ready for him. What about PDA? They're being watched. If Ellsworth gets too suspicious, it'll be too bad for Mr. Ellsworth. Sign off, Trigger. Hello, airport? Is Jim Taylor there? Jim Taylor has left with Davis and the PDA amphibian for Pacific flight. No, I don't know. Yes, Davis is chief of Pacific intelligence. Who's this calling? Hello. Hello. Who is that? I don't know, Mr. Ellsworth. Well, be careful who you give any information to. Yes, sir. Jim Taylor reporting. Amphibian, PDA, southwest Farallons, 1,500 miles. Visibility excellent. No headwinds. Ceiling unlimited. Airspeed, 165. That's all. Jim Taylor, Amphibian, PDA, signing off. The plane should be in at this time tomorrow. to be there pretty soon now. And from what you told me, we ought to be able to make it pretty hot for some people. Must have eaten something that didn't agree with me. Perhaps you smoked too much. No. It's probably my stomach. Good time. They are here at last. Good. How do you do, Mr. Ellsworth? Well, where's Mr. Davis? Haven't you seen him? I thought he got out ahead. Wait a minute. Davis is dead. What? Ted, how? What happened? Why, this is terrible. It's strange. The police are arriving so soon. He's in there, Inspector. 
Get in there, Red. Make an examination. You should be a detective, Taylor. How did you know it was murder? I, I didn't. I, I just found him dead and thought it was heart failure. Yes? Then why did you send for the homicide squad? Uh, hey, how did you know it was murder? I have proof that it was murder, Taylor. Straight evidence of murder. The cigarette is poison. Davis was dead before the plane of the landed. I must ask everyone who was in that plane to remain here for examination. Well, you want me? And why not, Taylor? You think if I killed him, I'd be the one to call the police? You carry cigarettes? Yes, yeah, sure. These are not the same brand, but... Uh... I had two packs of cigarettes on the plane. And they were the same brand as the cigarette in the handkerchief there. Let's see them. I said I had two packs. One of them disappeared on the trip. Davis was Mala Superior. They quarreled on the way coming back from the island. Davis said that when they got back, Mala was to be dropped from the service. That's all I know. Your efforts to frame me are so clumsy, I'm almost sorry for you. But I have no pity for the murder of Joe Davis. What do you mean? Why don't you tell them you saw me steal your second package of cigarettes? I, I don't know what happened to them. No? Then you don't remember putting them in the pocket of my coat. I don't know what your game is, Mala, but you can't pin anything on me. I don't have to, Taylor. You've hung this murder on yourself. What about that other package of cigarettes? I found them in the side pocket of this coat. A little package wrapped in cellophane. The fingerprints of the man who killed Joe Davis. I'm
Uh, Mala, before we go in there, I'd like a brief account of what you found on Clipper Island. Sit down. Things have been happening so rapidly that I'm still in the dark as to what it's all about. We're up against an organization so ruthless and so powerful it's a wonder we're still alive to talk about it. What have you found? I've discovered a mystery involving international spies who will stop at nothing. Recall some months ago when your company's giant dirigible to San Francisco took off on its maiden voyage to Australia. Contact the island at once, Mr. Jones. Give them our position and ask for a check on visibility. Their report should have come in long ago. Call Clipper Island for visibility. Dirigible San Francisco calling Clipper Island. Calling Clipper Island. Standing by. Calling Clipper Island. Calling Clipper Island. Dirigible San Francisco calling. Calling Clipper Island, dirigible San Francisco, calling Clipper Island, standing by. Dirigible San Francisco, this is Clipper Island, go back. San Francisco, can you hear me? I'm the only one left alive, do you hear me? 
Some kind of trouble on Pepper Island, sir. They're trying to reestablish contact. I don't like this. Chief Engineer reports rear starboard engine backfiring, sir. Have him cut it off. Keep on giving trouble. Aye, aye, sir. Back to the ship. Why do you think you're going? You ain't getting to Clipper Island.
Careful now. Captain Wilson? Right. Bring your men aboard. Take over that launch. to find my way into the headquarters of these men. They're well organized. But the ringleader is here in San Francisco. That's why I've come back. It's unbelievable. This man you captured, Taylor, perhaps we can get some information from him. That's what I hope to do. Shall we go in there? Yes. We know your gang has a base on Clipper Island. They've tried to wreck the Pacific Dirigible Company. You've got a man planted here to work from the inside. Now, who is it? You can't prove it by me. Uh, it's no use, Mala. It's obvious that he won't tell us anything. Sergeant, take this man to the station. I want every thread of his clothes examined. And send me the report. Right. I thought that would draw him out. A 50 cent piece. What was he going to do with that? Hide it in his mouth to get rid of the evidence. Operative 211. Bayview 4573. Take him to the station and hold him secretly. Be sure no one knows they've captured him. Right. Hello, Morgan. Marla speaking. Get me the address of Bayview 4573. I'm at the Pacific Dirigible Airlines field office. It's 10 to 1 at their headquarters. I'm going over there and find out. We'll have to move carefully. We're up against a big outfit, an international spy ring. Marla speaking. Right. I've got a thanks. Send that address into headquarters. But tell them not to close in until I give the signal. Mr. Ellsworth, I'll ask you to go back to the main office and check on the whereabouts of every member of your company. Good luck, Mallor. Inspector Harrell reporting. M2 reporting, urgent. M2 reporting, urgent call, sir. What is it, M2? Marla has forced information from Taylor. He's headed for headquarters in a big old touring car. I think he'll take the ridge route. Hang up, M2. That government agent has gotten wind of us from Taylor. He's heading this way in a big touring car. See that he's stopped on the ridge, Crosby. Crandall will stop him, HK. Yeah? We'll get him all right. Big yellow touring car, eh?
back to the boat before the rest of them come after us. Come on, Bob. we can get some information from him. That's what I hope to do. Shall we go in there? Yes. We know your gang has a base on Clipper Island. They've tried to wreck the Pacific Dirigible Company. You've got a man planted here to work from the inside. Now who is it? You can't prove it by me. Uh, it's no use, Mala. It's obvious that he won't tell us anything. Sergeant, take this man to the station. I want every thread of his clothes examined. And send me the report. Right. I thought that would draw him out. Fifty cent piece. What was he going to do with that? Hide it in his mouth to get rid of the evidence. Operator 211. Bayview 4573. Take him to the station and hold him secretly. Be sure no one knows if... an expert to tell her my fit connected. All right, get going. my friend. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let him get away. Three of you. And you let a horse and dog get away with murder. Wilson reports that Mallory is still alive. Why, what the place is for? No, but what are we going to do about it? We'll answer. Signal for Rhoda that Mala and Princess Milani are still alive. Can't make it through that hole. Turn her back. They're turning back. Princess Milani, the direct descendant of the Comatoan king. At her death, rule of the people would fall to the next in royal lineage. I would be no better off. Well, why not start a line of your own, Porotu, with you at its head? 
Forget the Comatoan kings. Why, with our help, you could rule the island. A new line. How could it be done? Many of the people are still loyal to Milani. Well, if it can be proven that Milani has been false to her people and betrayed them, would they still be loyal to her? Now, I have a plan that will accomplish all of that. Barotto has told lies to my people. Many of them remain loyal, but his power is increasing. If you work with me, the United States government will help you. I'll see what can be done. Goodbye, Mala. Trouble on Clipper Island, sir. They're trying to reestablish contact. I don't like this. Chief Engineer reports rear starboard engine backfiring, sir. Have him cut it off. Keep on giving trouble. Aye, aye, sir. Why 
if he chops you, break his neck. Hang on here. eaten something that didn't agree with me. Perhaps you smoked too much. No. It's probably my stomach. Well, record time. Here at last. Good. Well, Mallow. How do you do, Mr. Ellsworth? Well, where's Mr. Davis? Haven't you seen him? I thought he got out ahead. Wait a minute. What's up? Davis is dead. What? Ed, how? What happened? Why, this is terrible. It's strange. The police are arriving so soon. He's in there, Inspector. Get in there, Ed. Make an examination. You should be a detective, Taylor. 
How did you know it was murder? I, I didn't. I, I just found him dead and thought it was heart failure. Yes? Then why did you send for the homicide squad? Uh, hey, how did you know it was murder? I have proof that it was murder, Taylor. Great evidence of murder. The cigarette is poison. Davis was dead before the plane ever landed. I must ask everyone who was in that plane to remain here for examination. Well, you want me? And why not, Taylor? You think if I killed him, I'd be the one to call the police? Do you carry cigarettes? Yeah, sure. These are not the same brand. We know your gang has a base on Clipper Island. They've tried to wreck the Pacific Dirigible Company. You've got a man planted here to work from the inside. Now, who is it? You can't prove it by me. Uh, it's no use, Mala. It's obvious that he won't tell us anything. Sergeant, take this man to the station. I want every thread of his clothes examined. And send me the report. Right. I thought that would draw him out. Fifty cent piece. What was he going to do with that? Hide it in his mouth to get rid of the evidence. Operator 211. Bayview 4573. Take him to the station and hold him secretly. Be sure no one knows they've captured him. Right. Hello, Morgan. Marla speaking. Get me the address of Bayview 4573. I'm at the Pacific Dirigible Airlines field office. It's 10 to 1 at their headquarters. I'm going over there and find out. We'll have to move carefully. We're up against a big outfit, an international spy ring. Marla speaking. Right. I've got a plank. Send that address into headquarters. But tell them not to close in until I give the signal. Mr. Ellsworth, I'll ask you to go back to the main office and check on the whereabouts of every member of your company. Good luck, Mallor. Inspector yes. Harrow reporting. M2 reporting, urgent. M2 reporting, urgent call, sir. What is it, M2? Marla has forced information from Taylor. He's headed for headquarters in a big old touring car. I think he'll take the ridge route. Hang up, M2. That government agent has gotten wind of us from Taylor. He's heading this way in a big touring car. See that he's stopped on the ridge, Crosby. Crandall will stop him, H.K. Yeah? We'll get him all right. Unless I miss my guess, Peralta will be officially crowned on that platform beneath the tree. I'd like to crown him with a jolly boulder. My idea is to get up on that tree. At the right moment, Hank, you run right through the village. Create a disturbance, I'll do the rest. Don't go on it, Mala. Rex and me don't get along so good. The devil, my boy. You are not an equestrian. Don't slap me on the back. My name's not McDibble, and I don't like vegetables. I say, old B, let me have a try at riding Rex. Do whatever you like, but be ready when I give the signal.
Sending word from here. They must have a radio in that fort. I'll get in there somehow and send for help. You'll be safe here. Right you are. If anyone comes near, I'll frighten them clear off the aisle. Let's go, Buck. Get him back. 
boy, right? any use for him anymore. Come on. Go do it, back. What's the matter with that dog? Come on, beat it, Joe. Get up. Take off your belt. Get back to the others, Buck. They didn't agree with me. Perhaps you smoked too much. No, it's probably my stomach. Well, record time. Here at last. Good. Well, Mallow. How do you do, Mr. Ellsworth? Well, where's Mr. Davis? Haven't you seen him? I thought he got out ahead. Wait a minute. Davis is dead. What? Ed, how? What happened? Why, this is terrible. It's strange. The police are arriving so soon. He's in there, Inspector. Get in there, Ed. Make an examination. You should be a detective, Taylor. How did you know it was murder? I, I didn't. I, I just found him dead and thought it was heart failure. Yes? Then why did you send for the homicide squad? Uh, hey, how did you know it was murder? I have proof that it was murder, Taylor. Straight evidence of murder. The cigarette is poison. Davis was dead before the plane ever landed. I must ask everyone who was in that plane to remain here for examination. Well, you want me? And why not, Taylor? You think if I killed him, I'd be the one to call the police? You carry cigarettes? Yeah, sure. These are not the same brand, but... Uh... I had two packs of cigarettes on the plane, and they were the same brand as the cigarette in the handkerchief there. Hello, Morgan. Marla speaking. Get me the address of Bayview 4573. 
I'm at the Pacific Georgia Bolero Lines field office. It's 10 to 1 at their headquarters. I'm going over there and find out. We'll have to move carefully. We're up against a big outfit, an international spy ring. Mama speaking. Right. I've got a thing. I'm not addressing to headquarters, but tell them not to close in until I give the signal. Mr. Ellsworth, I'll ask you to go back to the main office and check on the whereabouts of every member of your company. Good luck, Mallard. Inspector Harrow reporting. M2 reporting, urgent. M2 reporting, urgent call, sir. What is it, M2? Marla has forced information from Taylor. He's headed for headquarters in a big old touring car. I think he'll take the ridge route. Hang up, M2. That government agent has gotten wind of us from Taylor. He's heading this way in a big touring car. See that he's stopped on the ridge, Crosby. Crandall will stop him, HK. Yeah? We'll get him all right. Big yellow touring car, eh? Got a thing. I'm not addressing to headquarters, but tell them not to close in until I give the signal. Mr. Ellsworth, I'll ask you to go back to the main office and check on the whereabouts of every member of your company. Good luck, Mallard. Inspector Harrow reporting. M2 reporting, urgent. M2 reporting, urgent call, sir. What is it, M2? Marla has forced information from Taylor. He's headed for headquarters in a big old touring car. I think he'll take the ridge route. Hang up, M2. That government agent has gotten wind of us from Taylor. He's heading this way in a big touring car. See that he's stopped on the ridge, Crosby. Crandall will stop him, HK. Yeah? We'll get him all right. Big yellow touring car, eh?
Milan still lives. Your control of the people is not certain unless it's there. She will not live to see another sunrise. When my people arrive, you'll be punished for keeping me here. When your people come, you'll be killed. Sir. Put him through. We have everything under control. We've captured Princess Milani, and Perotto has turned her people against her. She will be sacrificed tonight. Good. Milani must die. Then Marlowe will have no one to help him, and nothing can stop us. Put him through. H.K., Mala suddenly left my plane from Clipper Island. He knows enough to wreck us. I've already been informed of this. The plane is bringing Mala to San Francisco. We're ready for him. What about PDA? They're being watched. If Ellsworth gets too suspicious, it'll be too bad for Mr. Ellsworth. Sign off, Trigger. Hello, airport? Is Jim Taylor there? Jim Taylor has left with Davis and the PDA amphibian for Pacific flight. No, I don't know. Yes, Davis is chief of Pacific intelligence. Who's this calling? Hello. Hello. Who is that? Well, I don't know, Mr. Ellsworth. Well, be careful who you give any information to. Yes. Jim Taylor reporting. Amphibian, PDA, southwest Farallons, 1,500 miles. Visibility excellent. No headwinds. Ceiling unlimited. Airspeed 165. That's all. Jim Taylor, Amphibian, PDA, signing off. The plane should be in at this time tomorrow.
we ought to be there pretty soon now. And from what you told me, we ought to be able to make it pretty hot for some people. have eaten something that didn't agree with me. Perhaps you smoked too much. No. It's probably my stomach. Well, record time. Tupper's got the core enough, but Rex has got Tupper. They're headed for the swamp. Hey, 
dress? I thought I'd never catch up to you. You wouldn't have if those alligators hadn't stopped for Otu. He's determined to get this crown. It's the last symbol of power Princess Milani has over her people. <coughs> Hello, old boy. Where's Princess Milani? We'd better get to Milani before Perota finds our trail. why the natives made it taboo. Clipper Island. Desperate looking place. Oh, there's Mala. Hello there, Joe Davis. Mala, well, I'll be. Are we ready to take off? All set. Mala, I want you to meet Jim Taylor and Ed Bourne. Hello. Hello there. I hope you thought to bring me some clothes. I'd hate to land in San Francisco in this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got just what you need. Take off immediately. Good day. I've got a definite lineup on a ring of international crooks operating out of San Francisco. Should be able to round them up in short order. picked up a passenger and is leaving the island. Passenger? Who? Looked like Muller. Switch over to the sub maker cycle van. I've got word for headquarters. Okay. Yes? The Drager calls in Clipper Island, sir. Put him through. H.K. Mala suddenly left my plane from Clipper Island. He knows enough to wreck us. I've already been informed of this. The plane is bringing Mala to San Francisco. We're ready for him. What about PDA? They're being watched. If Ellsworth gets too suspicious, it'll be too bad for Mr. Ellsworth. Sign off, Trigger. Hello, airport. Is Jim Taylor there? Jim Taylor has left with Davis and the...
Claudia, Perot and his warriors are coming. Come on. to jump. Think you can make it? I don't know. I'll go first. Good boy, Rack. When my people arrive, you'll be punished for keeping me here. When your people come, you'll be killed. Sir. Put him through. We have everything under control. We've captured Princess Milani, and Perotu has turned her people against her. She will be sacrificed tonight. Good. Milani must die. Then Marlow will have no one to help him, and nothing can stop us. Are coming. Come on. You'll have to jump. Think you can make it? 